Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we want to find the angles of this quadrilateral. So we have a four-sided polygon, and a four-sided uh, polygon is classified as a quadrilateral, just in case you didn't know that. And uh, some of you out there may not have uh, reached high school level geometry, or maybe you took geometry and you totally forgot, but a polygon is a closed figure where the sides are a straight line. So the first polygon that we have is a triangle. So that's a three-sided polygon. Uh, and of course, a three-sided polygon we call a triangle. A four-sided uh, polygon is called a quadrilateral. Then we have all different types of quadrilaterals, things like the rectangle, the rhombus, et cetera, the parallelogram, on and on and on. But uh, anyways, irrespective of what type of quadrilateral you have, they all have this main characteristic uh, in common, okay? And you're gonna need to know that characteristic in order to solve this problem. And the problem is to go ahead and find the angles of this quadrilateral. Okay, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one moment. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure you check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find uh, a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer. Again, we're looking for the angles of that quadrilateral and the angles, the angles you should have uh, uh, found, if you do this correctly, are 70, 70, 90, and 130, and all of these are in degrees. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly what to do in order to find the angles of a quadrilateral. They'll be very, very impressed with that knowledge. Okay, so this is not that difficult, but uh, the key to solving this problem is uh, knowing that characteristic about quadrilaterals that I was talking about in the beginning of this video. And that characteristic is the following, that the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 uh, degrees, okay? Just like the sum of the angles of an, in a triangle is 180 degrees, the sum of the angles in a quadr uh, quadrilateral, a four-sided polygon, is 360 degrees. In other words, this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus that angle will add up to 360 degrees. And once you know that, then basically what we can do here is set up a simple equation. You're going to have to use some basic algebra. Matter of fact, I'll kind of tell you what to do to get the answer if you want to uh, try this on your own. But basically, you need to take this, add it to this, right? We have to add up all these angles. So this plus this plus this plus this is equal to 360. You want to solve for x, and then that will uh, basically... Uh, be the information that you need in order to get each one of these respective angles. Of course, we already know that this angle here is 130 degrees. All right, so let's go to take a look at the actual solution. Again, this is not that difficult. Uh, you do need to know some basic algebra, but again, you know, I am uh, going to emphasize the word basic. And if you're taking uh, geometry, just remember, in geometry, you do need to know some algebra. So let's go ahead and write it this way. We'll, we'll start off with x, uh, x degrees plus 20. Really, I probably should have wrote this this way, uh, x plus 20 degrees. So if you're confused about that, we are talking about degree measurement. So it's this plus the 130 plus this x plus x. We, we're no, we already know we're dealing with degrees, so we don't have to write the uh, degree um, symbol for this, you know, to do this particular equation. We're just going to go ahead and set it up. So this angle plus 130 plus this angle plus this angle is 360 degrees. So we're going to solve for x, and of course our angle will be in degrees. So we need to solve this equation right here. So if you want to go ahead and give it a whirl, this is not that difficult, but let's go ahead and see the solution right now. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, we have to first add up all of our like terms. So we have x, x, and x. So that'll be 3x. Then we have 20 and 130. That's 150, and that's equal to 360. So what do we need to do next? Well, we need to subtract 150 from both sides of the equation. And when we do that, we end up with 3x is equal to 210. I didn't show that step here. 
Um, if you need help with basic algebra, uh, something like this, I always uh, suggest checking out like my pre-algebra course, Algebra 1 course. I teach all this stuff. I also have tons of videos on my YouTube channel on basic equation solving. But again, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, I'm sorry, uh, geometry course, you're going, in, you're going to have to be successful or you're going to have to know a good amount of the uh, the algebra that you learn. Okay, so a lot of students are like, "Oh boy, I took algebra, but I'm like terrible at it. I, you know, barely passed it, but I'm finally, you know, in geometry, so I don't have to do algebra anymore." Well, that's not true. You're going to have to know algebra and geometry. All right, so how do we solve for x? We have 3x is equal to 210, so we just need to uh, divide both sides of the equation by 3, and we get x is equal to 70. Okay, super easy. So what does that mean? Well, x is equal to what? 70, but 70 degrees. So remember, this angle here was x, and this angle here was x. So those angles of the quadrilateral are actually 70 and 70. This is already 130, so this is going to be 70 plus 20, which, of course, would be 90 degrees. So, you know, this is a very easy type of problem, and I can almost guarantee you 100% that you will be doing a problem like this if you... Um, plan on taking any sort of geometry course, all right? But, you know, again, if you're, uh, you know, intimidated or confused by it, like, what do we do, you know, what do I do here? You know, it's not that difficult. Really, the key in math is just knowing the principles, you know, and skills to uh, solve the problem, right? Now, of course, that's obviously like, yeah, the key to math is knowing how to do math. But here really is the, you know, the main idea is this, that math is cumulative, right? If you're studying geometry, okay, you already should have learned some algebra. So you can't forget algebra. In order to be successful in algebra, you can't forget all that good stuff we learned back in middle and elementary school, all that good arithmetic. So again, any math skill uh, you learn, you want to kind of, you know, put it into your long-term memory. Okay, so if this video was interesting, even to the slightest, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.